so crispy we are here yeah. to to look over um people's ideas and dreams for the 60th anniversary are you gonna mm -hmm. be you know in favor of people's dreams or are you gonna crush them that's the question no pressure we're gonna have to find course. out we're gonna yeah. have to find out i hope they're good i haven't read any of them so no i I'm haven't excited. either i've deliberately left it so that i i had a completely fresh perspective the first one says out of everything I want to see the 10th Doctor finally be given peace of wanting to leave. He died alone, and I think concluding the anniversary with Ten finally able to be at peace with his found family would be amazing for him and the audience that grew up with him. This is interesting, because you actually spoke in a recent video about Donna and her story arc and how that could be changed. So I think the idea of giving the 10th Doctor somewhat closure is like a really good one. Absolutely. Well, yeah, I think I think a very popular theory right now is that David Tennant's last lines in the whatever, however many specials we get will be, oh, like, I'm ready to go now or yeah, something yeah. like that. It's very on the nose, but I think it, it could be. I don't know. I feel like the Tenth Doctor definitely has some kind of, um, I don't know how to describe it. He definitely doesn't want to let go of that uh, regeneration for some reason. I no. don't know, a lot of people weren't, weren't necessarily a, the biggest fan of Tennant saying, I don't want to go, but I think it's really cool. So we'll have to see. I think it fits mm. like the arc pretty well. I think it's actually kind of fitting that he's the one that gets the face again because he was the one who was most distraught about like not having it. But yeah, yeah I think like an True. idea of like, you know him. I like the idea of him passing it on willingly to to shoot E or something like that. I think that would be quite mm. nice, um, and yeah. quite symbolic in that way. That thirteen regenerates into ten and instead of Gatwood because of the toy maker. Multiple episodes dedicated to different doctors with Tennant at the center and others like eleven, twelve, eight, and six maybe in other episodes, all culminating in a final story where they team up to fight the toy maker. So I think I've sort of said before, I like the idea of the toy maker sort of playing a part in the regeneration because it makes total sense, you know, because he yeah. has like his own little fantasy realm. So I think mm. him changing the appearance of the Doctor to accommodate that makes a lot of sense. And I think it would, you know, make more sense to explain it that way other than just it being a normal regeneration because I could see people being like, hang on, this has never happened before. You know what I mean? So I think... Um, That'd be, a, that'd be a pretty cool one as well. I, I like the idea of him being involved. Be and you had a really good theory um, where you were like, oh, the whole thing will kind of be one division S. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's a very uh, popular theory. I love that theory a lot. I've told a lot of people about that theory. They're like, oh, have you oh. heard Thary's theory? Oh, wow, um, thank you. <laughs> so, no, 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 no. It's, it's good. And I'm like, oh, it yeah. gets me excited. Because I feel like, yeah, there definitely will be... Um, the toy maker will be definitely pulling the strings. I don't know if the toy maker will necessarily be affecting the uh doctor's appearance they might just be affecting the world around them yeah. but i mean for sure it could be like revealed the whole time that oh it's not actually david Tennant. it has been shooty gatwa this whole time for some reason that'd be um, that'd be interesting like but who knows filter almost type thing yeah like, literally that, that'd be that'd be neat i think it's because we've all already seen that as well as recently as oh what's the episode the flux one once upon time when it flicks back yeah. and forth between ruth and 13. true so they True. could do something like that. That'd be quite interesting. Um, and I, I guess as well, I think another theory I saw before we knew about Neil Patrick Harris was that, like, imagine if it was someone like the Trickster who, like, mm. sort of granted, like, the Tenth Doctor their wish to stay, you know, in that body. Ooh. And that, that would have been really cool, I always thought. Um, I but like I mean, that, that could still happen with the Toymaker. They could still both broker it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I can just imagine him appearing, like, they cut, they cut back you know, to the scene and end of time, and then yeah. you know, he basically grants the wish of the Tenth Doctor to stay as he is. Uh, which that explained, would be crazy. Yeah, it explained why the world's all weird and not quite right. Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, the next one is six specials, one Doctor from McGann to Capaldi in the first five episodes, with all of them coming together in the final episode. Companion-wise, it would be 12 and Sorry, Bill, 11 out, and Clara, 10 and Donna, Nine eleven Sir. and his poor nine being on his own. and his episode would be set before Rose. Not sure who eight would be with. Okay, so this is I guess what this is kind of implying that is that they want you know a doctor per episode. Personally, I'm kind of feeling like that's less likely now. Gonna be honest, I'm not completely ruling other doctors out. You know, I'm not saying mm. they're completely off the table, but 
I do want to see other Doctors, and I think the interesting thing they bring up there is the specific pairings that they want to see them with. I think that's interesting. I'd love to see, obviously, as many Doctors as possible, but I'm not getting my hopes up in that regard, you know? Nor am I. I think, I think it will mainly revolve around Tenant. It'll be a mm. Tenet and Donna story. I'd be shocked if, like, what we've seen is, like, a mine... Like, filming-wise, is, like, a minute part of it. Like, can you imagine if what we've seen with the filming pictures and everything takes up all of 10 minutes in these three 60-minute yeah. specials? Yeah. Can you imagine that? Yeah, But no, be, I think... I, I think it's going to revolve around David. I can see them doing maybe something with Smith. Oh. The director teased something recently where he poked fun at that, where he they photoshopped did, yeah. Matt Smith behind him. Um... So I, I would be shocked if Matt Smith is not involved in something. Um, but my my theory as to how they would do that is if, like, there is this whole degeneration thing that, like, maybe they will just, like, constantly be changing faces throughout the whole thing. And yes. Donna's like, what the heck? Yeah, um, that would be but interesting. But I, I, I don't know. I, I, I can't see Peter Capaldi returning necessarily. I can yeah. see the chances of Nine returning are slim, but better than they've ever been. Yeah, um, that's true. It's interesting with that because he's slowly warmed to it more and more. Oh, it's definitely. Weird. Like, it's we it's the weirdest. Th I never thought we'd see the day, but then you know we got the big finish announcement, and then you mm. know, at, in interviews, he's like, "Oh, you know, when hell freezes over," and then he's like, "Oh, well, if you want me back, it's got to be just me." Yeah, and, and so then you I don't know. David at a comic con as well. He's like, "Don't come as David ever again." Thank you. Yes, <laughs> and you are also my first doctor. So lovely meeting you. Well, don't come as Tenant ever again. <laughs> It's like, yeah, <laughs> it's, like weird. it's weird to have him even acknowledge other doctors because that's not even a thing yeah. he did like for ages. Mm. So um, yeah, it's it's certainly interesting. I yeah, I I kind of agree with you. I think it's even even if we're gonna get other doctors, I think David is the sort of the main attraction, the centerpiece, which I'm okay with honestly. Like it makes yeah, sense. I'm fine with as well. You know, it's like at the end of the day, he is like arguably one of the most popular. David's always down to oh, do yeah. everything. Um, literally and like it's it's russell's doctor as well so like from that perspective it makes sense um this is kind of of a different like i i this would definitely not be my dream by the way but i think it's an interesting point to bring up it says no tenant no references to series 11 to 13 just shooty being magnificent the reason i want to highlight it, that's that comment in particular is more for the last bit than anything else i've seen some people say they'd rather just skip the 60 of stuff and just skip straight to shooty instead so just having him as the doctor and i get it i do think though on the 60th anniversary year there's a lot of pressure on a new doctor to put on them so for me personally yeah. they're doing like the perfect thing with like having yeah literally Tennant in there as like the transitional doctor mm. if you like and it's not like he could do 2023 anyway because of sex education so um, yeah for me it's like i'd rather have you know tenant led specials and you know have this big celebration than have like nothing you know what I mean? Like, I get where people are coming from. They want to see the new thing. But I'm also like, I think it's okay to, to celebrate the past in an anniversary, I think. Yeah, I, I've never heard of someone being like, oh, you know what? I'll just skip the anniversary special. Yeah, you know? it's weird. That, That'd be strange. Like uh, yeah. But I mean, hey, what, what if, if they're not necessarily the biggest fan of David Tennant, I guess? Yeah. But I mean, who is it? Like, he's literally the most marketable doctor ever. Um, so, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's a strange one. It's a strange one. I won't be skipping personally, Therese. Will no, you be yeah. skipping? I will not be skipping. I'm, ver oh, I'm very... Oh, very good. So I am very excited for the whole thing. Um, very good. For the whole deal. It's, it's, you know, I think it's just... I, I kind of get it, like, in the sense of... I know some people, they're a bit, like... You know, they're a bit wary of, like, nostalgia and stuff. But I feel like anniversaries yeah. are, like, the one point where that's acceptable to do. <laughs> like, yeah, literally. You know, you know, it's, like, anniversaries, that's kind of what they're there for. So, for me, I, I don't have an issue with that. And as I said, it makes sense with Shooty and everything. So, yeah, I'm looking forward. I do hope, though, Shooty appears even just a bit at the end. I think that would be nice. Oh, yeah. I hope that the um, 60th is kind of, like, a nice uh, jumping on point for... Um, the next, like, they kind of show where the shooties thing is going. Like, where his series mm. will be going and projected to go. And I think that's what they will do. I think they'll give Shooty a good introduction. And there's rumours that he will, like, appear sporadically throughout the 60th, right? I yeah, there, there are there are rumours of him popping up. Yeah, there absolutely yeah. are. I think it will. I think that will probably happen. I'm more confident yeah. in that than I am 
other doctors coming back, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, that's the thing, because they, they, like, the other day I was talking to um, Troy, and he was like, oh, it's strange that they, like, announced shooty like so early because everything everything mm. else they announced like neil patrick harris yasmin finney um donna david coming back um was all because they had outdoor filming so i get the weirdest feel like weirdest feeling that um they they said shooty's thing because they were like oh we're gonna be filming with shooty soon and it might leak mm, but we haven't yeah. we haven't seen any filming with him so yeah, i don't absolutely. know I, I i'm gonna i'm gonna put some money on that yes shooty has filmed scenes for the 60th so yeah I, I i agree with that i think it's also in, in regards to the the early um announcement thing i think it was partially just i think they wanted it so the new doctor was the first focus i guess as well i think yeah probably. true i suppose that's a if, good like, point if that's david a really good was point, first actually. they might have been like well is this just going to be more of the same but by announcing shooty first it's like this is the new thing trust this guy yeah it's going to be exciting um this one I think is interesting because obviously a lot of them are like nine and ten and eleven coming back and obviously I agree but like um, yeah. I say ten as if he hasn't already figured it out you know what I mean the other doctors yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, this one's interesting because I think this one I think this should happen at some point if not in the sixtieth but soon uh, a real nod back to the beginning Caroline Ford as Susan in a cameo maybe or something similar Aww. I think this would be really nice but can you imagine I've thought of this. Imagine if the Doctor thinks they reunite with someone like Susan again, only to find out it's all an illusion by the toy maker. Oh, just, yeah, gosh, good point. That would be like a punch to the gut, wouldn't it? Just, oh, you'd be like, oh, oh come no. on. But like, well, I mean, yeah. uh, I don't know. I'd still love to see it regardless of dream yeah. sequence or not, but I mean, it's kind of like the whole, um, at the end of, what do you call it, uh, Capaldi's run when yeah. um, like Bill, Bill and everyone comes back and you're like, oh, this is nice, but you're not really them are you yeah. um but i mean look i'm I'm down for that it'd be a touching tribute i mean because like we've got to keep in mind this isn't just celebrating uh you know the david tennant era this isn't yeah, a absolutely. david tennant special well it is a david tennant special but it's, it's, it's supposed to be celebrating yeah. six, 60 years of doctor who so i don't know how they're going to do that necessarily um yeah so we'll we'll see we'll see. I think Susan would be a great way of like achieving that though, having like yeah, definitely the, the very first companion appear in just a small capacity. I think because you got like obviously not to sound too morbid, but you kind of got to do these things when you can do them as well. Yeah, I think, yeah true. Um, you know, anniversaries are the great opportunity for that. I think yeah, it'd just be nice to see her. You know, in in the modern show to a degree. Mm. I must ask you this, Crispy, because I yeah. as as far as I'm aware, you are an eleven boy like me. Mostly, like that's when you probably Mostly. got into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's when I started. Definitely, we we vibe, we vibe on that level. So obviously, yeah. In terms of other doctors, like my most desired would be eleven. Are you the same, mm-hmm. or are you like you know more of a twelve? Like, you've, well, you've pick one. I'm giving you the the task. Pick that's, one. That's that's a tough, tough, tough ask right there, Therese. Yeah. Um yeah. <laughs> So I'm going. Look, I love smith so much mm-hmm. so much he was my first doctor got me into the show you know made me freaking start this channel or whatever well not this channel this is your channel um <laughs> the other one the yeah. crispy subscribe one. by the way uh i'll stop that was fine <laughs> um but i am always a sucker for capaldi but Fair. you know it's it's purely just because it seems so unlikely that capaldi would return that if i do see him in the 60th my jaw will be on the ground yeah, if, no. if if Smith rocks up, I'll be like, oh yes, they did it. They they bloody well did it. But if yeah. if Capaldi rocks up, I'm gonna be, oh my gosh, yeah, no way, yeah. Um, but who knows? I'll probably just reuse well. the shot from Day of the Doctor. Yeah, yeah. Probably. Can you imagine? We just get the same <laughs> yeah, 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 shots yeah, yeah, yeah. in a row. That would be great. No, yeah, I completely get you. It's like Capaldi is one of those things. Like he's one of those ones that like grew on me over time. Like, kind yeah. of, because um, I was younger when Capaldi started, and then, like, slowly over time, I was like, I come to really like this, and Series 10, I kind of look back yeah. on as one of the best yeah, literally. revival series as well. So I think he deserves another crack at it, I think, um, and I, mm. I hope, like, I, maybe he would, but, like, yeah, for me, Eleven is just, that's my childhood, my era. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know? well, wh- when did you start watching Theories? So it was 2008 for me. Uh, was nice. when I started watching. Good time it. to be watching Doctor Who. Yeah, well, yeah, it was 
with the Christmas special, you know, the the next Doctor. The next the Doctor was your was your yeah. first episode. <laughs> it was my no first way. episode. Yeah. So um, obviously caught the back end of the Tenant era, binge watch. Yeah. Like a lot of the stuff on DVDs as kids, and then obviously hmm. the Smith era was where I was first live watching it. So yeah, for nice, me, nice, nice. A lot of my nostalgia for it is smith era which you know i remember like the paradigm daleks being everywhere for a hot minute yeah <laughs> then, yeah gosh. And then never seen again <laughs> no <laughs> and then whisked away into the abyss <laughs> yeah we never saw them again but um mm. yeah so for me like especially because like karen gillen and everything have said like they'd want to do it as well yeah because karen gillen absolutely. would be a huge get for them massive they could get. get her and like everyone would love it okay so this one's interesting as well Anything that brings back Ronnie and Clyde, I miss the Sarah Jane adventures. Oh. These should actually be neat because obviously I know that in was it uh, Doctor Who Redacted, the audio series, I think yeah. they brought back Ronnie, Ronnie from Sarah Jane Adventures. Yeah. And like I suppose in a sense, if you're in if you're celebrating sixty years of Doctor, you could celebrate the spin offs as well. I don't know how they'd come into it. But I'd definitely be happy to see them again. It's it's the sort of yeah. thing of like Again, that was another thing I grew up on was Sarah Jane Adventures as well. So mm. um, I'd be more than happy to see them. But uh, yeah, I'd be I'd be interested to see what they would do with them, like now. Well, well, it, it could be it could be a nice like tribute to Elizabeth Sladen, uh, Sladen if they were in the show. Briefly. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I yeah. don't know because if they are celebrating sixty years, I mean, yeah, it's it's one thing to get the the doctors like a, a like granddaughter in. Um, yeah. but it would, it would be another thing to get, um, yeah, Ronnie and Clyde in there briefly. I don't know. I don't know. I don't see it happening because I feel like it might yeah. be too far of a stretch for the casual viewer. And I feel like there's going to be like the 60th will be a time where a lot of new viewers are coming back to the show because, oh my God, David Tennant's back. Um, but I yeah. mean, Hey, look, if it's, if it's going to be fan service and nostalgia 24 seven, yeah, chuck him in. I'm not opposed to that. Yeah. I do get like the, the concern of just it, like you don't want it to just be like characters, you know, yeah. everywhere. But at the same time, it's like, you know, there are some characters that I'm like, they'd be really cool. And obviously I've seen some people mention, you know, the likes of Tegan and Nissa for me as well. I think that's yeah. also partly a challenge that the, the, the 60th has. Is that we literally mm. have the centenary directly before it? Well, yeah. in theory, anyway. <laughs> in yeah, well, theory, I mean, we'll see. Up. We'll, we'll yeah. see. We'll yeah. see. Um, but that obviously has Tegan and Ace. You know, yeah. it's got rumored to have more. So you don't want to do that twice because that might sort yeah, of Yeah, it's going to be a lot a back to back. Yes. It might be funny on like a rewatch if you go um, from the centenary to the 60th and you're like, man, how did we, how did we breathe? Because the centenary yeah. is supposed to have a lot of surprises, and the 60th is going to have a lot of surprises. So I don't know. It's going to be a wild time to be a Doctor Who fan. It's a good time to be a Doctor Who fan. It really is. I think. I think for me, like now with everything ramping up with the centenary or beginning to, it's going to yeah. be like we're going to be very busy. I think for the next. Oh, I think so. You know, Absolutely. Few, few months solid. Um, I'm just I'm just looking through a lot of these ones. A lot of these are just sort of asking for like every Doctor. I've sort yeah. of realised, <laughs> you know, I was kind of like thinking, is there any yeah. like dream ideas? Yeah. Are there any other villains you would like to see back um, for oh, gosh. the 60th? If you could like pick. Um, the Pating. The Pating? Is that, is that you're locking that in? <laughs> yeah, lock it in. Lock it in. Lock it, That's lock the main in. villain of the 60th special. Let's go. All three special. No, they should they do now, like, It's actually fight. Neil Patrick Harris is voicing the Pating. That's, <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. yeah, they should do a fight between the Pating and Beep the Meat. That'll be oh, like the new Godzilla see, versus Kong ultimate like... showdown. <laughs> Bam! Yeah. Bam. Uh, oh, that would yeah. be amazing. I would, I... I would pay to see that. I would pay to see that. Do you know what though? I thought because you know they were filming in Camden like ages ago. There was like a, yes, a place yes. they were filming outside called Cyberdog, and I was yeah. thinking, is that going to be connected to the Cybermen, or am I just being like, is that me no. being too? Well, that's the thing. Did you, you know? did you know that place existed before the filming pictures? Like the cyber dog thing? Have you I heard of that not, before? I did not know what it was. Well, uh, but neither did I. Because yeah. Yeah, I was like, what? Did they put this up for filming? And then everyone was like, oh no, it's like a rave shop. And I was like, what? Yeah. What is what is this? It's so, a very I don't know. I don't know if, 
if if like Russell was on holiday one time, he saw that and he was like, "Hey, hmm, interesting." <laughs> Set a Doctor Who episode. That, that'd be great. Yeah, I definitely could film there. I think the Cybermen would be a great choice for a villain in the 60th because I feel like the obvious choice is Dalek because they, you know, yeah. the most iconic Doctor Who villain ever. But we did have that just with the uh, 50th, which was weirdly 10 years ago. Yeah. But with the Cybermen are, you know, almost equally in high regard. Um, as some of the most iconic Doctor Who villains. So I think the, the Cyberman would be a good choice for a villain. Yeah, I agree. Because, like, I suppose as well, like, Donna never got to, like, have the Cyberman. Did she? she had... No, because she didn't, did she? Because she had the Daleks at the end of Series 4, but there wasn't a Cyberman story with Donna, so... Yeah. So she has no idea they exist. Well, she, she has no idea they exist now. Ha ha. Oh, I guess, um, yeah, because wasn't there that bit that's in crazy. Runaway Bride where it was like... She was on holiday when the Dalek Cybermen thing happened, like, on the oh, yeah, Tuesday. Yeah. Did I miss yeah. another thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I love that bit. I hope they keep that bit going. That'd be quite I think they will. Uh, I think they fun. will. These ones are quite a long one. I don't know how many of these are ironic and how many of these are genuine. Uh, okay, so we'll see, okay. So we'll see now, but it's uh, this is the type I would love to see included somehow. Uh, 10 plus Donna and Deep to me, but I feel like that's a pretty safe bet. Uh, six, Very safe bet. Mel uh, plus Hebe, so... Interesting, I want to stop with Mel there real quick. There has mm. been consistent rumours of Mel, because... Really? Yeah, oh, this because... This is the first I'm hearing of it. Yeah, so basically, way back when they were filming in... Was it London? Or one of the places. Yeah. Uh, Tennant makes a mention of a Mel, and Donna does as well. She goes like, what about Mel? And, and, she goes, and he goes like, oh, she's brilliant, isn't she? Which has obviously led to people oh, speculating. Oh, that's right. I, yeah. I did hear that. That's right. Yeah. And then that's obviously led to a lot of people speculate, you know, maybe Mel coming back. So I think for me, Mel's one of those ones I wouldn't have expected them to bring back. But I I think kind of does. Like, I, I'd, be, I'd be cool with that. Like, it's a more, obviously, she's not the most popular classic companion. But I think that's more interesting in a way. Like, one thing I've well, noticed is they've gone for the more, like, the more out there picks, like the Toymaker and Beep the Beep and stuff. Is like, it's yeah. a bit more. Like, well, that makes sense, I guess. Yeah, it's a bit more reaching into the archives, which I kind of like. Mm. You know, that no, they're I going like for that a too. bit more obscure stuff as well. Uh, I appreciate yeah. that. And then it says, uh, cactus and cat people. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't what? know. Whether... What, is the... what does that say? Just cactus and cat people. Um, All right. Fair enough. Why not? You know? Um, I'm fa- throw them in there. Face of Bo. Now, we never really got, like, any full closure on the face of Bo. Obviously, I know it's implied that Captain Jack eventually yeah. becomes the face of Bo. I don't really know how they would tie in. I, I mean, I guess you could. But, well, like... The face of, we've seen the face of Bo die. Yeah. So, like, is there anything that's enough, cl- that's enough closure for me. Yeah, is I there much know. more to do there? Like, I don't know. And don't, don't team it up with companions other than their own. I do like that idea. Like, I love yeah, the idea Yeah, I like of that idea as well. Doctor Companion Fairies. I've always thought, can you imagine a 9 and Donna? Or 12 oh and Oh my Donna? gosh. Like, <laughs> the the back and forth. <laughs> yeah, it would be off That the dialogue would be yeah. loud but golden. Anyone with Donna would be interesting just to see oh my how, gosh. They, how they react. I'm trying to think, like, what other, like, pairings would be interesting? I think... I've always been one of those people who kind of disappointed we didn't see a lot of Eleven in Clara. And I kind of think, like, yeah, it'd I would be like nice some more to time see a bit them. more of them. Yeah. And I think some people have suggested that in earlier in the sort of suggestions as well. So, yeah, I definitely like the idea of mix and matching. I think that's fun. Mm. Uh, whether we'll see it or not, I don't know. We got also uh, 8 plus Frobisher. Do you know who Frobisher is, Crispy? From the expanded media, the, like, the big finish... He's like, and the comics. It's like, it's like a penguin. It rings, the, it rings the biggest bell. Yeah, he's Did basically they... a penguin. He, he's, he's a, a penguin. Pe- oh, that's, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. No, this is a very popular thing that's been going around. Yeah, everyone just seems to want Frobisher for back. I'd be, <laughs> you know what? If we have to meet, him in. be in it. Like, sure. You know what I mean? I think a way they could justify the silliest stuff is if they make it like, that, so that the toy maker's illusions. So like, yeah. keep the meat. And what are the other things called? The Wrath Warriors? The big insecty the, the, things that we're Alien looking things? Yeah, 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 yeah. like, they might not actually be real, but instead, like, fabrications of the toy maker Or something yeah, like not... that. No, so I, I, I like that. I like that a lot. My worry is... Not my worry, but my theory is that, that those are going to be very quick scenes. Like, there's just going to be yeah. mayhem going on. And yeah. then they might, like, cut through, like, a few adventures that Donna and the Doctor go on and want to be like, beep the meep, and then th- those guys, and then this little Frobisher penguin guy. Yeah, you know, I'm I just feel like they, they, might, they might do a bit of, bit of that. 
Yeah, the beep for beep thing guess. I'm reckoning is going to be like like a minor threat for the first episode where like the yeah. focus will be on like, hey, look, Tan and Donna are reuniting. Let's go. Yeah, um, that, that's the plot. That's the synopsis yeah. right there. Yeah, I, it starts yeah, with I, beep the meep, I but it's it mainly out. about Donna <laughs> yeah. Doctor. Yeah, absolutely. And then like slowly, I think maybe we we'd see more with the toy maker. Another one saying here, Murray Gold returns to score the music. Now mm. I've seen a bit of. Um, you know, contrasting opinions on this about whether Murray Gold should or shouldn't come back. Obviously, we know yeah. Sagan for definite is leaving. I yeah, personally out. would really like him to come back. And I think for the okay. 60th, it makes sense. I don't know. You know, because like his, you know, he scored both those characters yeah. as well, Ten and Donna. So, because I can't imagine Donna without the bum, 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 bum. But, you know, I can't, can't picture it in my head. It doesn't track. True. Compute. You know, true. Um, so for me, at least for the 60th, it's fine. Series 14, I, I wouldn't mind him getting someone new. But I also wouldn't mind him staying around. I think he can. I think, I think I that's think... where I, you and I might differ because I think I would like a new composer for Series 14. I'm fine with the mm. nostalgia tour for the 60th. Yeah. But I think I think if we want something fresh, something that feels fresh, um, you know, one of the one of the key parts of Doctor Who is of course the music. Um, and I just don't want it to be necessarily like a greatest hits. I'm sure like the, obviously like Murray Gold's shooty theme would be something insane, yeah. but I mean, there's a lot of talented composers out there. So I'd be, I'd be yeah. open ears, open ears. I think that's completely fair. I think it's like, I think for me, it's just, um, cause I, I've watched like uh, years and years and it's a sin and stuff. And I think the yeah. guy can do a lot more than I think he's sometimes given credit for. I think a lot of just- Did he score those? Years and years. I know for definite he did. I'm pretty sure he did it to sin as well because him and wow. Russell are- like that, you know, they're very close Besties. collaborators. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and I think he is more like, I think he's got more range and then he's sometimes credited for. Like, because right. I know that like a lot of people just see him as like the I am the doctor guy. And it's yeah. like, he, he is a bit more than that, you know? he's His he's number one a, single. He's got yeah. more songs than that guy's. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. He, that's like the one, you know, breakout hit that everyone knows. Like, okay, yeah, I, literally. I listened to Marie Gold before I am the doctor. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I actually knew it when he was pretty indie. So you know, he's pretty underground. <laughs> I'm not like you know, not like other girls sort of thing. You know? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Um. But yeah, like I do get that. I wouldn't. I'm sort of in the camp of like I wouldn't mind either way. You know, I wouldn't mind Murray yeah. coming back, or I wouldn't mind someone new. I do kind of want a more bombastic score generally because I do kind okay. of miss that. Even if it's not Murray, like mm. you know, someone oh, yeah, yeah. No, similar so. to that style because I think that fits Russell's writing and like his world building. Yeah, pretty well. it's just absolute craziness yeah yeah we, we, we should we should have someone that, that'll do something crazy yeah i agree and then there's a couple more bonkers suggestions for this person but it ends with and it's not even a suggestion but it's just um a picture of will saying oh that'll make my christmas and now i wanted to talk about this because as far as we can tell there are three 60 of specials now yeah. obviously big rumor on the street pretty the, much confirmed yeah pretty much confirmed but obviously there was rumors a while back that one of them was going to be some sort of Christmas, New Year-y type special. Because yeah. there was... I know that, like, people are going to say, the lights are always there. But basically, there were fairy lights there. And, like, sort of... Apparently, people were saying that on set, they were wearing, like, wintry clothing. And apparently, yeah. someone on set even said that they were filming a Christmas special. So here's my thing for you, Crispy. Do okay. you think it's possible that we could get a Christmas special this year as, like, a surprise? Because if that happens, yes. I think... Do you think so? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. I don't think that's as crazy as some people might think. Like, Russell no. loves this lot. And I think, what better way, like, what more explosive way to, like, do new Doctor Who than to literally have a David Tennant Christmas special, which is basically yeah, the formula for success. Like, yeah. they always mm. did phenomenally well. Um, and Ridiculously I just think, well. Can you imagine we're sat down watching this and Tina again, theoretically, in about a month's time, um, and, you know, it, obviously maybe a regeneration occurs or something, and then, like, it's like the Doctor will return this Christmas. You'd be like, oh, what? Mic it'd drop. Be, mic drop. incredible. I, I, I hope it happens. Um, even if not, I don't though, know. Like, even if it's New Year, it's like... It's a few days out. <laughs> yeah, it's still not that long, and it's like... I, I just I'm I'm I like the idea of there not being a huge gap between the centenary and 
the I don't think there will be. The they have thing. filmed so far ahead, but that might, like a lot of people say, well, that might just be the actors filming schedules, which mm. is completely fair because I know they're very popular actors, very in-demand actors. They're just trying to work around shooting and everything, but they have filmed so early and I would not be surprised if all of them are just going through uh, VFX treatment right now. I think they're all very much on their way. It's not a, a ludicrous theory that we will get something at Christmas, but I wonder then, since that if we do get a Christmas special, it would air this year. So it wouldn't technically be part of the 60th year. So what would you call yeah. that special? Oh, it's not that's the 60th a good part one. It's not the 60th part one. It's just yeah. the 2022 Christmas special, which is kind of a prelude to the 60th anniversary. Yeah. And then I mean, I'd wonder how they would space out the other two specials. Because I'd imagine the last one would probably air on the 23rd of November. Yeah. So, I, I don't I know. Is it, it going to be the case one. where they go Easter, Christmas? Yeah, I don't Easter know. would be would my, I mean, my Easter, guess whatever. for the second one. Because I'm guessing, I suppose, like, thinking about it, even though, obviously, go back to the next Doctor thing, weird how these things come full circle. That's yeah. kind of considered, to some extent, part of the 2009 special, even though it isn't technically in 2009. Okay. It kind of gets okay. lumped in with, like, Planet of the Dead... And waters of mars and stuff so i feel like even if technically it's just still in 2022 people would probably just class it yeah because like, it's true. the same thing with like end of time part two as well because it's like new year's 2010 it's like it's mm. still probably it's seen as more part of the 2009 yeah. even though it was technically 2010 2010 yeah, like I always I always find it so funny when you look at the um the doctor's run on like uh Wikipedia or whatever and it says for David Tennant 2005 to 2010. I'm like, mate, you just scraped in both of those years. Yeah, all right? yeah. Don't absolutely. be too cheeky. And then there's going to be like a little dash now and it's going to be like 2023. Yeah, it's going to be 2023. So it was like, That's you know, so like funny. Old monarchs or something, they like get dethroned and then they come back a few years later. Yeah, like, that's, yeah. That's literally. almost the vibe. Um, literally. Yeah. Literally. Um, I'm thinking that might be near the end, unless I'm seeing something more elaborate. Do you have any dreams for the 60s? That sounded weird. I was going to be like, do you have any dreams? But no, just do you I, have I, any... I dream sometimes. I dream yeah. sometimes, yes. Do you have any I'm a bit of a dreamer, Tharys. <laughs> you are a bit um, of a dreamer, yeah. Do you have any, yeah. like, big things that you want? for the 60th? I like the idea of, like, a cinema release, but I can't see them doing that Ooh, three yeah. times. Yeah, no. I've, so... I've said before, I missed the 50th one. I've never quite forgiven my you parents. You missed it. it. Because, yeah, but, okay, so basically it was airing in my cinema in, in Cardiff. And I was like, oh yeah. my god, Doctor Who's going to be on in the cinema. Because they have, like, you know when you go into a cinema and they have, like, all the posters? Uh, yeah, like, yeah, 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 Aligning the cinema before you go in. It had Day of the Doctor on a poster. I was like, oh my god, I need to see oh Doctor Who in the cinema. And, and then my mum was like, no, we're busy that day. We can't do it. And obviously I still watched Day of the Doctor, but I was just salty that yeah. I couldn't see it on the, in the Could cinema. Sit. Oh, so, mate, look, it was it was sensational. Like, here in yeah. Australia, it was different because, like, if I wanted to watch the live simulcast with the rest of the world, it would have been, like, 3 a.m. or something yeah. ridiculous. But that day, we got to the cinema. It, w it was in 3D, which was awesome. And then they yeah. had those little pre... Pre-show um, videos from Strax yeah, and then Strax. one from Matt Smith, David Tennant, and John Hurt. Um, but it was just an awesome experience. The cinema was full, and you know, every like the Capaldi eyes, like that was like that was my first Spider-Man No Way Home moment. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It was like, oh my gosh, what? Yeah. Um. So I don't know. I'm sorry you missed out, mate. But no, that's all right. Well, tell you what, sixtieth will make up for it. Come on, please. Yeah. yeah. Please no, for Tharys. For, yeah. <laughs> for me, thank you. No, but like, yeah, that's a good point you bring up about No Way Home, actually. Because I definitely mm. think a 60th could have similar vibes. Oh, yeah. Like, for I could sure. imagine, like, David Tennant saying his first, well, and everyone just erupts in, wow. like, in like, goes, celebration. Uh, Donna! <laughs> yeah, a cinema release would absolutely be one for me. The thing is, a lot of my dreams already sort of came true, for lack of a better term, like Russell. Like, I never thought Russell yeah. would touch Doctor Who, or at least for a while. Tick. Uh, Rachel Talale directing an episode. That's oh, phenomenal. Great choice. Can't wait great for that. Great choice. Is there anything else, really? I mean, I guess my ultimate dream would just be Matt Smith and Karen Gillan because I'm selfish. It's not too far fetched. You know? It's, it's not too far fetched, my boy. Yeah. I know. I'm hoping so. And then also, I think Russell did, like, Matt Smith a really good job in, uh, like, the Sarah Jane Adventures episode. Sarah Jane, doing. yeah. Like, he was really well written in that. And I felt like they clicked quite well. Like, they, oh, yeah, for some yeah, yeah. reason, like, they, they're, they're writing and obviously Matt Smith's acting, you know, clicked really well together. So I could totally see him being, like, really great with Russell's writing. So, I mean, I kind of want to see that. But yeah, that's kind of my ultimate dream. But I think that, no, I like that, that. wraps up this. Uh, thank you, Crispy. 
for uh, that's all right thank you for having me on mate that's all right no worries is is there anything you would like to to shout out to the people oh subscribe to Tharys. oh thank you thank <laughs> that'd, you that'd be my first quarter <laughs> order and then I, i've got a channel somewhere i'm sure Tharys will link it but link yeah it. i don't know well done on the channel mate it's it's been going thank very you. well you're, you're one you. of my uh, i tune in regularly oh, i'm usually you, not there you. for the live stream i usually wake yeah. up and i see you've ended a live that's, stream that's fine because yeah, i'm in australia you know what? It's, it's annoying because, okay. like, whenever I do a live stream, someone always says, oh, I missed this one. It was the wrong time zone. Like, I never, yeah. <laughs> I never get it right. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard, mate. It's it's very yeah. hard because I want, I want to do more live stream stuff. Yeah. But it's if I if I did one now, like, it's, what, almost 11 p.m. for you? Yeah, it's almost 11 p.m. Everyone's yeah, going to sleep, mate. Everyone's going uh, to yeah. sleep. It's hard. And obviously, when you do one later in the day, it'll be, like, yeah. 8 a.m. for us. And it's like, oh... Crispy's live, but yeah, no. Oh, um, well. Subscribe to Crispy. Uh, thank you for coming along. Thanks, and mate. I'll I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, take care and bye bye for now. Allons-y, baby.